if there is no problem then why we have to be here right so do not worry about all these things uh, keep whenever you think any like any issues or something you can oh. simply go ahead and raise a case with with them okay. and parallelly yeah. work parallelly you can also work on on uh, fixing that if you are able to fix just close the case else they But will can you be, yeah can you please find out with your colleagues on lightning web run time lwr okay. and uh, yeah, omni scripts uh, yeah omni scripts deployment uh, through azure as your okay lwr i'm not sure if someone has an idea but as your i know a person who is not in my project right now but she was working with me so i'll just connect with her and i'll let you know okay okay even if she has documents or something i'll ask her Mm. But probably I'm not uh, sure. If she knows like any plugins, like any like normally no. Salesforce and I'll Microsoft ask, Azure, I'll, I'll ask yeah. her how you do the deployment. So whole thing, like right. whatever the basic C. Yeah, actually yeah. I have documentation for Microsoft and Azure, and I have uh, like a trailheads like a sort. trail hmm. heads like microsoft azure also we have a trail heads like i searched over there but i did not get proper details proper links for that uh, azure deployment uh, yeah. azure met, uh, yeah omni script metadata deployment i did not get it so i'm um, still i have to search or else like i have to case i have to raise case case against the azure but if you know the proper information with her like please pass it to me okay you see this was another error i had got <laughs> yeah and and i did something i don't even remember now it's the same org that we are using see i have got this one when i was trying to open and so uh, i just research, searched whatever the uh, like i spent some time and then i was able to fix it and i don't even remember if you ask me now what i did i don't remember mm -hmm. so these are the something commons that i don't really uh, keep the things in mind it just that whenever it comes that's the only way we'll go to go there and we'll try to figure it out from google that's it google chat yeah. gpt these are the things that uh, would be using it related when wherever the resources i get we'll try to follow and that's it these are something that will keep on happening and this does not happen every time like in the beginning when you're setting up the all you may have these challenges okay so But you can do like this right like a, a, a look like a, you, whenever you are copying that bold letters right bold words like bold errors like so in the notepad or notepad plus plus or somewhere like you can copy and you can copy at, you can paste that yes yes yeah you can you can we can we can definitely what it works but main problem what it, i have tried that Two, three. I kept it, but what will happen? You will not get the solutions from one, uh, one resource, right? Yeah. This will it not work. You go to some easy. other. You go to some other. Then what it happens? Uh, by the time you fix the issue, uh, like it would be exhausted, and I will miss to keep the uh, copy the solution. That's correct. This I, I know. I I understood. Yeah, but just I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I will. I will definitely. I will uh, keep it in case that can be uh, that can help uh, others as uh, well. Uh, for next next batch students correct, at least agree 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 yeah. no but the other thing is what swati these challenges were not there such things were not there initially these things yeah. have i started have coming from the time salesforce have uh, salesforce have are upgrading their package and in upgrade what they're trying to do they're going to move on to the core con core for, uh, core omni studio when i say core omni studio it means all the concept that i was talking that they are trying to move on to the standard uh, core right like they will have a standard uh, objects and everything you install any of the package and you will have omni studio it's not like you have to install an additional package uh, likewise you are when you are how you are getting a free org you just register and you get it right installed yes So yeah. they are trying to build in that way. Whether you go and install Health Cloud, go you go and install uh, any X Y Z cloud, you will have the Omni Studio by default. So to hmm. do this, they are making changes on the metadata level. Okay. So in these recent yeah. package, these problems are coming. It was this problem was not there. This problem I have seen from couple of months. Yeah. Okay. And moreover i thought it will only be in the free org but just now you said like you are facing these problems even in your paid org also so yeah, my i should you right in enterprise edition yes, also i agree getting... i agree this is what i was telling that i didn't had this assumptions that we will have a problem in your paid org also so 
लाइक आई इंस्टॉल्ड माय क्लाइंट्स और रिसेंट नाइन मंथ्स बैक आई स्टार्टेड दिस प्रोजेक्ट इन नवंबर एंड विल फिनिश दिस नवंबर सो वन ईयर इट वाज सो प्रोबेबली इफ यू लेट मी सी बट यू नो व्हेन आई इंस्टॉल्ड नाइन मंथ्स बैक दिस परमिशंस इश्यूज वेर वेरी लेस it was directly if they are not able to run the ip or those kind of stuff stuff where there these why kind of why we are actually problem has to be reduced right like why we are getting day by day problems uh increase it is because it is they are they are they are again changing the package they are rewriting the content so it will improve Uh, maybe you are seeing it too many problem but that may be a kind of bad luck but they will definitely uh, they will definitely <laughs> reduced uh, yeah i'm telling you see i'll tell you the time i started i'm telling you i was like i don't want this velocity it was so useless like i can tell you that myself i have raised when their project uh, launched four uh like four of the issues four to five issues i have raised in the very beginning and those were very genuine uh, bugs so you will i mean you have you have you are starting right now but when i compare myself from the time four years back what this velocity was and now i see lot of improvement like drastic improvement i'll tell you but for you it may be still it's an issue because you came first time on the platform like you may have some experience i'm not denying on that but then the actual experience you are doing it right now right probably yeah. devops and all you must be involved but uh, it has they have they have it's reduced and the other thing i'll tell you with my with i i do have the experience so the things becomes easy right i can relate the things so yeah. this thing will happen do, do not worry about that let let's go with the flow whatever the issues come simple raise the case keep on working yourself also if you are able to resolve it you can just send so why i did not document because i did not i thought like it's just in the free or but it seems it's happening for the, it's see basically the package will be same so if it is happening in the free or it will happen in your paid org also the only difference is like in paid org you will get a instant support like you will get a good support in free org there is no support even if you raise na if i raise for this free org they will not even care like i cannot raise it the very first thing with my the org with the free org you cannot raise a case okay so let's come back to our ip maybe we have half an hour so let, let let's cover that uh, we were talking yesterday about this uh, omni studio yes yes yeah you have started the recording na or no correct i started i started okay. yeah so you can see here what our requirement was our requirement was that we click on this employer and as soon as you click on this these details you have to enter these these details okay uh, and once you enter these details uh, what you have to do once i click on save uh, either, once you click on save what it is to happen Uh, ip should be called right so you click on here and ip will be called and this should get closed right or not mm -hmm. this should closed get closed in the sense uh, this uh, what you call this block should get closed right we have a block so i come here and i go here this is my block and to close this block what i can do new employer equal to false i'll do it then this will get closed right so oh. if this is my ip right in the response i let's come back here let me deactivate and i'll tell you the simple thing what all things we need the very first thing what we are trying to do we need to close that so see here the data will be passed to this ip after the data get passed ip it this it will get passed to drl so dr will have all the details and it will create an account for you agree yeah after creating an account uh we are saying that whatever the account uh, id created the details of that account should get passed right that's what we are trying to tell right that's yes. the reason when you execute you get some uh, kind of informations here when you execute agree mm -hmm. see these yes. are the informations now along with this i want to send one more node which is called as a new employer right if i am able to send that additional node I, my job would be the done i guess no correct yeah. yeah so now in response there is something called additional output response okay okay yeah 
So additional output response in the sense anything additionally along with this you want to send you can send or else whatever you are sending it here you don't send here you can use it in your additional output also. So basically whatever you do here or here it's the same thing. Right, mm -hmm. you can send the output with this also. You can send with this also. The only limitation is here only you can have one node. Here you can keep on uh, keep on add this uh, key value pair, and you, you can have as many number of output nodes if you want. So basically, I want that there should be a, a one more node which is called as a this one. What is the name of this node? Uh, here it is, new employer. So just to copy paste, I'm, I opened this. So I copied this. And I pasted here. The node name should be in new employer and its value should be false, right? That's it. Mm. Correct or not? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So this is done. So now when you execute here, you will find that okay, this is error. We know why this error is coming because we have It's the same or because uh, I told you duplicate rules is active because of that. If one record is created, it will. Uh, so you can see here. Let me just delete both these account. OK, so you see uh, I deleted it. Now it would work. So now when I click on execute, you can see here. Oh my God, why it is not coming? New employer name. OK, sorry, it's here. New employer, the very first one. So yeah. you can see here new, along with new employer, new employer value is coming false. Now what will happen when you run here, the JSON will come here and uh, since JSON will come here to get your JSON here, you need to have a note, right or not? Uh, or basically let me see if it is coming or not. OK, so let's let me just activate it. Let me just activate it. How can I activate? Come to the configurations, click on active. Now you come here to your own script. OK, click on preview. You can give all the details. No. And you can click on create employer. And I'm just giving any name. Us. So anyway, anyway, I'm not even entering all the details and also I would be seeing my action debugger in JSON how it is happening because this is how I will be able to if you see data JSON, a new employer value is true, right? If I yeah. somehow after the quote create after this record creations, if I make this value false, it will automatically get hidden, right or not? Yes, so yes. we need to achieve that. So first thing I clicked on save. It got saved, but if you see here in action debugger, you can see the response. You see that response that IP result. This is working per perfectly, right? It is sending me the value new employer false, but mm -hmm. if I come here in data JSON, I don't see that value at least, right? Mm -hmm. And moreover, uh, new employer value is true. And if you see here what you are getting it, this will also matter new employer here. It is false. Correct, hmm. but it is I'm getting in action debugger, but this is not getting passed to JSON. OK, hmm. so. Basically, whenever you are sending any data, OK, whenever you are sending any data from hmm. from an IP, uh, hmm. what you should do, you should create a additional node. When I say additional node, a meaning as of now, how are we getting the data? It's it's simple. Uh, the data that you are get, getting, you can see here. You can OK, that should be fine. Uh, OK, so I'll just simply delete it. OK, so if you can see here how you are getting, you are getting all these things into a form of array. Correct? So put yeah. this array in form of a in form of a uh, just add a node to it. OK, so if you ask me, you know, I will I never want to send the data in such way. What it happens if whatever X, Y, Z information comes here, it will keep on sending the data to your Omni script. OK, so see these configurations we have done it. But now what I'm trying to tell you is that how we can enhance our our 
our performance of the whole applications that we are building. So as okay. per my understanding, you know, we generally don't use this. We just whatever the information as of now, you're getting this whole information. You don't need whole of the information. We just need that ID for our confirmations, right? So what I would do, I would send here like this new employer. OK, new employer mm -hmm. equal to false. I will do and then I will send account ID. How do I send an account ID? I will simply come here. Mm. OK, uh, copy this whole thing. This whole thing come here. Uh, see another problem. <sighs> Sometimes these things will happen. OK, when you start typing it not getting you can simply go ahead and refresh it. So you can come here and you can simply give percent percent control V and inside this also there is an ID. Oh, I want just ID, right? So you will trim it more. Hmm. Adding value, it means you are trimming your uh, JSON nodes. Right? Correct. It yes. will send all the nodes from account one. Now it will just send the ID, right? And right. The, that ID will be stored in or basically have this key. Now if you see here, now if you try to execute, OK, no worries. Uh, we are getting an error because already a record is created with the name, which is still fine. So I come here and I click on execute. Uh, uh, seems like my changes have not been saved. OK, it is because you are giving this additional output and you are giving this also. So things are getting overridden because of this. So you have to remove okay. this. Right, because you okay, don't need. Yesterday, yesterday we got uh, we, uh, we got our answer with that only, right? With that edit and JSON JSON field only. Uh, JSON. Hmm. Yeah. Send so, ah, ah, just JSON. When you did, you got you got this. So what I'm right. trying to tell you that to receive the input, you will have to use response actions. Now in response actions to send back the data, you have two options. Either you can use send JSON path or you can use the additional output. Either of them you can use. So this is not a right. better options. We always see what it happens. I'll tell you when you give this note. The first limitation is that only one node you can give it. I mean, oh, still you can give understand. whatever you need here, but mm -hmm. in general, if we, we have more filter conditions, like we can go, we have to go with the additional output. Additional right? output, yes, yes, correct. Okay. So this generally I don't prefer to use, and I'm explaining you what what is the reason behind saying that why I don't use this. Understood, understood. So yeah. you can use this also, but again you will be send having just one one, right? Okay. And in case if the same data you are using it here, same node you are giving it here, then this will override this additional output one. Yeah. And moreover, let's say that you give a node, right? And that node have 100 nodes, 100 child nodes in that. All the 100 child nodes will come, right? Your JSON will become heavy and it will your performance will be affected. So that's the reason always trim your JSON. Whatever you need, just send only only see now. Now it's it's fine. Nah? I just want account ID. I just want this new employer, right? And moreover, now it is not in form of array. Initially, it was for in form of array. You remember? Initially, mm -hmm. it was in form yeah. of array. See, getting an array was not a problem of this. It's it was not because mm -hmm. I was using this send JSON path. It was coming into form of array because your DRL. Right, we were trying to return from here. So yeah. this component, we were trying to get this this account one, right? And this account is an array, correct or not? See, uh -huh. this account one is an array. So that was the reason that you are getting an array. So that, that that understand this that it was not because that I am using send JSON. That's the reason I am getting array. Now I am not getting array. Still, yeah. you will get an array if you use here also account one. You will get an array if you remove this ID, right? And you are trying to get. So let's let's say that you remove this ID. Here also you will get that array only in account one, mm -hmm. right? So we don't want an array because. So okay, why are you getting array? You understand? It is because you are getting from DRL account. Now you may ask that why are you getting array from here? Why this DRL is giving you an array? So basically, yeah. data, data wrapper load and data wrapper load supports the bulk. Mm. You are giving him one record right now, but you may also give you. You can also give him thousand records in one oh, time. So yeah. it will return you thousand ID 
if thousand records have been created, right or not? So yes, that correct. thousand has to be come into an array. So hmm. that's the reason this has been designed in such a way that whether you send one record, it returns you one record or ten record, it will send you in form of array. Now, if you take a direct input, direct you just uh, get the output directly from here, then you will get it in array only. Okay. Oh. Okay, yeah. One problem got solved that now it is no more an array, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. now it's no more whole of the bunch of things that that additionally was there, right? Correct or not? What yes. I do, phone numbers, email, and all these things. That's fine. I I just want to make sure that my ID has been created. So always try to trim the JSONs because, as I told you, see. IP will run on the server side so, and you will be executing your own script from client side. So from client side, you enter all the informations, you hit on save, then it makes a server call on the server side. All the processing happens and from the server again, the IP will send back the data to your client side. That is your Omni script. So all this sending and receiving this communications with the server side to the client side, this happens when these things are happening. You are your everything is getting transported from one server, client side servers to uh, client side to the server side in form of a JSON, right? And if your JSON is heavy, it will take more time. So always JSON is already light, but still you can better your performance by making it the only the required by making the pass of only the required JSON by to send additional uh, load to it, right? So that's right. the concept concept behind it. Now, since I have few of the my problem got resolved, I can come back to this uh, this one and at least let me see. Uh, as I told you, when you have a direct array, it will not come into JSON because JSON wants some kind of node key value pair, right? So JSON one JSON or sorry, one array of JSON will be considered as one record. If you uh, like you need to put a whole of the array into one node and if node is not there, then you will not see it in JSON. OK, always sure. remember this. This is very important point because we think that, OK, everything I'm doing correct still it is not working. So that's the core concept behind that. Now see if I come here, I just give any sort of names, right? And I give any sort of numbers and uh, maybe you can see here. Now you can see here in new employer true. You can see I have cleared it. Now if I click on save, you can see here it got executed and you can see IP result. You are getting it new employer and this one, correct? And moreover, you see that got hidden. Hmm. Where is your block? It's not there, right? Yeah. It, and you can see in new employer got false because this time whatever the changes I have done, it worked, right? And mm -hmm. why it worked? The only problem was I had done everything correct, but the only challenge was that I was not, I was putting, it was coming as an array, right? And since it was coming in array, it was coming into my action debugger, but it was not getting passed to my data JSON. This is your data JSON, okay. right? As soon as I change from array to an object, see automatically new employer value got updated to false. And when it became false, this got hidden. It's as simple as that. OK, yeah. Now my one more thing I want that you I can you can see here. Let me uh, Im, let me fill this value something here. Employ, uh, I, I mean, I type let me type it here. Let me look for so what I want that you can see here. As soon as I select this employer, I see. I click on save. So the very first thing the record should be created that got created. Mm. We achieved that right. Second thing we wanted that block should be closed. That is also done. Correct. Mm. Now the Correct. third thing that whatever with the name, whatever we have created the record that should get automatically populated here. That's mm. also my requirement. OK, yeah. so what I will do the same way I'm closing that if I try to match the same node, whatever we node we have it here. If I pass the value, the whatever is the uh -huh. value that I have created, if I'm able to pass that value in this one, then what will happen? Then I think my job will be done automatically. It will node will be passed here. So first of all, I need to understand what is the node of it. So I'll have to go to advisor employer block and employer block. I will feel these value employer will be equal to this account that I've created. Name will be same and ID will also be same this one. So if I'm able to do this, then after the block will get close and here the name will also be populated, right? So let me do that. How can we can do this? So, so I'll come here here in JSON. I'll simply paste my JSON here, format it 
and you can see here what I want. I want this. I'll just prepare my JSON path. How, JSON path. So how do I do? Control C. I'll simply paste it here. Come on. Yeah. Correct. I'll yeah. Call after advisor. Uh, now, OK, now you tell me employer block, right? Yeah, employer block. This employer block. Hmm. OK, after employer block, I have to give the whatever is the name that I'll give it in employer also and name also. So I gave okay. here. Yeah. Whole thing come here and I'll go to my IP and in IP I'll deactivate and I'll do the same thing what I did for this. Uh, this one yeah. I did for. I'll come yeah. here. See, see, since there are a lot many transformations, it would have been better before giving this response. I would have done all these kind of transformations in one of the data after transform. OK, yeah, uh, and, uh, j whatever is the output of that JSON, I would have simply passed here. Mm. Correct, so that would have been easy because that would let's say tomorrow you wanted some more response. This IP will keep on uh, increasing, right? You added 10, 15 more components and you want 10 more outputs. So this will keep on increasing, right? As see, it is two, three, it's fine. But when it starts going beyond 10, 15, na, you will have a challenge. Scrolling up and down, making changes here, there, right? So that's yeah. the reason for such kind of a things. We use a data to transform here. Now, let's say this IP is being used by 10 persons or, or let's say two, three teams, right? Now, mm. first has 10 value, second team has 10 value, third team has 10 value. If everyone starts using this response actions only that I want this expected. Moreover, what will happen every time all these 10, 30, 10, 10, 10, 30 nodes are there. Every time these 30 nodes will get executed. Right, JSON yeah. and heavy. If you are calling, you need only those 10 value. Why other 20s are coming, right or not? So to yes. to improve such kind of functionality, to improve improve such things, what you need to do, you can build uh, all the three teams will build their own data after transform. OK, and all these three we will put up a conditionally. When your team is calling, other two conditions will not certify, other two data transform will not execute. Only your ex will execute and it will give you the response and that response will be passed from here. So now what is happening? Only 10 is going, 20 is not going. Other team members time, their 10 will go, other 20 will not go. So that's how you will not notice initially when you are practicing, but when you after some time, when you start uh, doing the impact analysis, right? Maybe sometime we do load testing, impact testing, right? On our uh, after our uh, after developing our applications. So that time when you start doing these analysis, you will see that there is lot differences, lot many differences. If we could have built in in this manner, right? Yeah. So these are the additional things that will help you once you start building, right? Once you start have. So the very first thing is to have a dev knowledge. Once you have the dev knowledge, you start working on these performance, right? So I'm just explaining you so that you from the very beginning, when you start your dev, whatever you do, you start with all the best efforts, all the best practices and everything in mind. Like you don't have to at the end after going, you will feel that this there is a lot of load is on this, like load in the sense like lot many things are happening redundant. We need to make our applications more efficient. Now you start making changes, right? Now what will happen? You already have 30 here. Now you wanted to put uh, 10 of them into a data raptor, so that will be a challenge because you will have to delete from here. Everything will get mixed. One is my second two, third year, some others, fourth is mine. You will have to identify which all are 10 records. So those will take a lot of times in, in doing such things. Right, so these are the things that I'm what I'm sharing you will help you in long run. So start these practices from the very beginning itself because I started my own right of my own. But then after facing so many issues or facing challenges, um, I, I now I know that what should I do? Right, I have some uh, like I have some some I know some some uh, something that I would be facing in future. I, I know few of the things, so I start preparing from the very beginning that OK, these are the experience that I have it in past that client would come and ask. So one simple example I'll tell you, I could use data raptor turbo also, right? Data raptor hmm. is efficient, but I generally prefer to use uh, data raptor extract. extract. The reason is tomorrow the client will come. It's as I need this also. Yeah, I will not be left out with any any scope, right? When I'm yeah. sure that no chances of a scope, no, there is no scope that any additional object will come. In that case, only I will use Turbo, right? 
and it's yeah. it should be other way also like i know that there is will, no other things will come here if i'm 100% sure right or at least uh, i'm good uh, have a good confident that okay nothing else will come don't use data raptor extract there even if you're doing that then that's a redundant right Hmm. like for an example type ahead generally i suggest not to use type ahead with with uh, in type ahead uh, do not reuse sorry let me refresh. render no 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 not in type ahead you will be using a data raptor right to get the data from database correct yes yes so i generally suggest not to the data raptor that you are using inside a type ahead do not reuse this data raptor to some other uh, some other functionality type ahead. Huh. some other type ahead or any some other functionality so i know that in type ahead only one object i will be hitting so there you don't have to uh, you don't have to worry that okay i will use data raptor extract only you can use turbo there because mm -hmm. turbo is fast then uh, extract so those are the things that you need to understand and this comes slowly but when you start building these habits because i have given you some informations right for mm -hmm. me or like for any person who doesn't uh, who who have not taken trainings and all those things they will be doing or even you will be doing once you do get fail or get stuck somewhere then you rework and you put some time you get to know it's simple it's not like you will not get to know you will get to know but after spending some time but that's a benefit right i can share you my experience and you can apply those experience from the very beginning okay let's get back to our topic so here you can see if i can add one more value and how do i do this i can do this way step advisor mm -hmm. this is how i will be getting this this one right Correct. yeah uh, okay and one more thing okay why i am doing this okay so this was this was for my employer and there is one more block they are asking right they wanted to yeah. have more name also i think name was there you can see here name is there employer block there is control v name and there was one more which is i'm sorry Okay, no worries. So what I will do? Uh, uh, okay, what I'll add one more here. Uh, so you can see here. Here the last one is ID, right? Okay. So for ID, so you have on top also. Anyway, this account ID I will not need anymore because I will get it directly here. This was just to show you, right? Okay. So here I'll get ID. Come on. Okay, you can see here, right? You can also click like this, and here you will want name. So here is your name. And uh, here also you are getting name. So this is. any issues here till here shall i remove this account id this is of no use now because id i will be anyway i'll getting it here right mm -hmm. so i can remove this so new employer false and these are the things that will be coming up here why these things i have put let me just rerun once and see uh, if it is working correctly or not so now if i execute it now i will be getting this new employer this will close the block and this step advisor employer this is same as what it is here right step employer step uh, sorry step advisor and then employer and then the, all these employer people. name id yeah name, employer name id all these values i am getting it right yeah name and employer same value id mm. so probably i am expecting this should definitely work but let's see after else i'll have to come here i'll have to activate it okay and if some record is there i'll simply delete these records because duplicate rule is active in my org which does not allow me to create a uh, duplicate sort so this is done now i come here okay uh, i don't have to worry about anything i'll click on design uh, i'll click on preview again i'll close this this time i'm i don't want to debug much because i know okay so if i start searching here maybe deloitte or something anything i don't have an account i can click on create employer <coughs> okay and here 
<laughs> I'm sorry. OK, so let's say I'm creating a Swati test account. OK, phone number is this one. Email is something like def.com. OK, space was there. OK, so anything like the data, you can always put it. Once you put this, so the record should be created, right? This block should be closed and in this employer. See, I have written here employer is equal to Deloitte. It is right. Hmm. So this should get replaced with this account because this is the Swati test account I'm creating, right? Hmm. Let's see what all things happen. I click on save. OK, fix all error, which is great. OK, I did this. Now I click on save. Block got closed, right? Name got populated here, right? Mm -hmm. Moreover, if you see here, employer block, employer Swati test account name, ID. This looks great, right? Everything mm -hmm. is being looks fine to me. One more last thing I wanted to have. Let's see when I when the user is trying to search this account. Let's say D E L O I something, okay? Mm. And if I don't get this account, I'll click on create employer. I clicked on create employer. Do you see what it is happening right now? It is still showing me the previous one. Yeah. But this shouldn't be the case. What I want that this employer what like I wanted to create with Deloitte name. So this at least the employer name should get populated here, right? Mm -hmm. So see, this is a bug, right? You will done. You will do it and your QA will say that see I created another this time I may have wanted to create a new account right because last time I this account maybe got created successfully. So I need to I need to uh, like this should not be uh, this way. This should get blanked out. That's one thing right hmm. now. How do we do blank out? So you will have to initialize the value with blanks and how you will do that? With help of this create employer, when you click on create employer, what you will do, you will. I mean, you will make sure that all those need nodes are null. Simple. Yeah, yeah, because see what it happens when you hit something, when you do something in JSON that get stored in key, right? And until and unless you do not override that no node, the in that key, the value will always be there. OK, OK, yeah. Now here also when I was doing this, I have faced all these challenges, OK, and I have handled all these things. That's the reason I know, OK, if, uh, mm. and, uh, that's the reason I'm trying to explain you. There would, would be another challenge and that's the reason why I do all these mistakes because as a developer, you will also be doing such things mm. and then you will spend some time. So that time I'm trying to all, always I try to save. OK, so the one thing is like at least even when you are coming on to the for the first time. See, this was a case because it was already one account is created. But let's say for the first time I'm creating and clicking on this create employer. That time it will be null only. We saw we have seen that right or not? Correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But at least what is my requirement? Forget about this error that uh, previous value is coming. But that's fine. We will handle this. This is a bug. We'll tell QA will raise our work. We'll give some work to QA also, right? If we solve everything in the beginning, that will not work. But they will do that. OK, so forget about this one. Do not focus on this. I'll tell you how to resolve this. But at least what I want when the, even for the first time, let's say that I'm here. Let's let's talk about the first time I refreshed it. I come here. OK, after coming here, I search for this Deloitte account. Now, mm. this is a small name, but let's say that Deloitte Consulting. I wrote all this name uh, so much big. I typed right this much mm. big name. I wrote it. Now I click on. I didn't find this, so I clicked on Create Account. Now, do mm. you see a problem again? I have to type this whole thing, or at least I'll have to copy and paste it. Here. Yeah. Right. So why don't we help our customers, or why don't we help our users? How to help that for us? It's just one time task, right? Mm. Being a developer, I can just do the mapping from here to here when mm. they're clicking on create employer. So we will we will I will do this for you and you will also what you will for other components. What you will do? You will make sure that these things are null. Same thing here. We will map this name. We will map it with here, this one and mm. other things. OK, so how to do that now? We will go to design after going to design. You have to come here. These yeah. are the things that you would be using. These will, things would be very helpful. Now this Employer. is my set value. This is my set yeah. value. 
Yes. And in set value, what you have to do, you have to build this node, right? Step advisor employer, like basically this one, whatever we did now, correct? Mm. Yes, yes, yeah. Now we have done that in DR. I sorry, not DR. We did that same, same thing in IP, right? Yeah. IP after creations, we are doing that only to populate that. Now this mm -hmm. this time you don't have to do the whole thing because you, you do not have the ideas of now, right or not? Mm -hmm. You just want to pass the name, right? Mm -hmm. So basically, yes. what I'm trying to tell you is that when you come here, if you see the JSON, always take a look at JSON. This is very helpful. OK, this data JSON always keep a track whether you're dripping. Uh, so basically, my requirement is that as soon as I click on this uh, A, B, C, C, something I type, I don't mm -hmm. get that uh, right now. You see here, where is A, B, C, C? A, B, C, C is in employer block employer A, B, C, C. OK, A, B, C, C, yeah. Now I want when you click on this. It should whatever is the value in the step advisor employer block employer that mm -hmm. should get passed here. Correct here in Correct. ABC, ABC, DDD, something like that. So mm -hmm. since I want all the nodes, all these nodes you we want, right or not? Mm -hmm. no, OK, yeah. This employer block is here. Same so I please, yeah. This value should be passed to this one. Correct. Mm. So mm. that's the reason I need all these JSON data JSON. So whatever the data JSON you want, like whatever the key you want, you fill the value in that and then copy it. Because if you don't fill the value, see, I haven't filled the value of said email. Email is not there. As mm. soon as I enter the value that will come into the JSON. Mm. Blank quotes will not come in JSON. So another points to remember. So mm. when I fill the value, I got all these those points and all those points I'll put it into JSON so, so that I have everything. Now what I need to do is that when I click on set value, so set value should set the value, whatever you have it in step advisor. Step mm -hmm. advisor is the same, so even if you want to ignore, I guess you can. But whatever is the value in the employer block employer, that mm -hmm. should get passed to this one. There must be A account name. employer block. No, no, this one. You have this employer block. So basically, this is the type ahead employer block because this is with dash and there is block which get expanded and collapse, right? So the mm. name of that block also somehow I have given employer block only. I should have given some other, but because this may confuse you with this only. But I have given the name as an employer block. So this is the name. Uh, this is the way uh, like where you need to pass the value to this one. So what I will have to do, I want to set the value of this one employer block colon. Hmm. ACC name, right? Name, yeah, so yes. Now, uh, and probably I'll have to use this step advisor also. Step advisor colon this, and then this, right? Hmm. This is the node. Yeah. So first of all, I need to build that node. So, and you need to build the node where, in which place? In this one, in this, this creative yeah. set value. What is this creative employer set value? So whenever it is not a direct, like for let me try this way. So what I'm trying to tell is that we will have to go to this step advisor. Step already it is there, right? So in the new document. This, yeah, yeah. So this we is print basically. This is for that type ahead one, right? So employer block. I mean, it's just that I have not given dash and by default for uh -huh, type yeah. block, dash will be there. Yeah, so yeah. this slightly change. Yeah, it definitely yeah. matter to make yes, a decision. Yes. So this is one way we generally do. I don't, I'm not sure this will work or not because I generally used to do edit as JSON. And what will be the value? Now we need to understand the value. So value will be definitely this only, right? Because whatever you are typing in type ahead, that value should. So let me just put it in this form and Set see value equal to type ahead value. Nothing but yeah, here you need to give a merge field. OK, correct. Set, set, val so set what we are what we are entering in the value in the set value. Same hmm. value for the type ahead value type ahead. Exactly. This is a merge field. I'm saying whatever correct. will be the value in this one that should get passed to this one. Yes, block. let's see if it works. Because I generally what I when such things are there, then I used to uh, do a edit JSON. I don't think it will work. I don't mm. think it will work because whenever you have, uh, I'll tell you what is the issue. But let me see. I I I am damn sure it it should not work. But let me give a try. 
like they keep on improving uh, like uh, changing the things right so let's say that i'm trying to do this i didn't got the record so i clicked here so it, it didn't populate it that's what i was my expect so what it happens whenever you wanted to set value in json uh, like in set value then whenever you have a direct value now you can use this plus element and you can give one to one so it will take except it basically what i'm trying to say this element name will not expect the json path it is also saying in the help text also it is accepting the json node it means that it will only accept key not in form of path agree yeah so that's the reason you have given path so whenever you have to give path go to edit at json there is a tweak it's not a straightforward it's a tweak which you will not get to see these these this thing will never come into your mind when you get i stuck at a problem sometime you will not even understand that how to make is this possible even or not right so yeah. see here it was a new employer just one node its value was to be set you you can use it directly but when yeah. you have path you this clicking direct will not work you will have to tweak it how do we tweak come down go to editor json okay after going to the editor json this is this is your first value and this is your second value right mm -hmm. okay now you need to tweak it here what you have to do do not give in this format directly what you will have to do after giving this step advisor make it a kind of this way okay now i mean you will have to redefine a bit okay see and now you will give this now here you will give this is your final node Okay, employer block. Ha. Huh. Now you need to how many uh, two? I guess I gave right. Yeah. So now see step advisor, and then this employer block. Like you have step advisor inside this you have employer block inside this you have ACC name, and the value of this ACC name should be equal to this. Hmm. This is what I did. Okay. Now hmm. I don't save. now see this is this when you have a path you will not be able to see the like you will not be able to see it directly like here you can see you have a link you click and you see it's because you have node here here you have path so when you have path in that case you have to go to json and check okay you will not get directly and this is how it was looking right not colon colon if you give colon colon definitely it will not work now it looks good now we come here and do a preview okay so now i come here and let's see if it is working or not so i come here marijuana yes you have this employer maybe def whatever mm. i can write mm -hmm. and then you click yeah. on employer can you see sort of populating mm. okay now you can give your phone numbers or whatever you want and then you wanted to save it you can click on save see mm -hmm. account got created and you can see the id of it also so everything so uh, like in employer block why i am taking this id also i am dragging the i'm always taking this id it's because at the end when you are creating a record or updating these things id would be required name will not work right with because you need an id to create a record or basically uh, absurd or maybe i want that this account should be related to this right i told you that hmm. at the end we will be however is your data model in the same way we will try to create a data right so there you hmm. need id not your name like got it yeah connect yeah, yeah. to account uh, sorry this you want to add like you want to connect this account with a contact so in contact you will need account id right not the account name Hmm. so that's the reason i need to have this id so always whenever you are working on any records always have the id as well even though i'm not showing it anywhere on my ui on ui hmm. i will be showing the name only but i need that id also okay. okay so you see this whole functionality is working right whatever was our requirement we did that one requirement is that as soon as you uh, like i don't want that uh, from the very beginning this create employer should be shown if you come here when you start typing when you don't get the value then you, this should be then this create employer should come okay okay 
So uh, that I don't think I will be able to do it. The reason being, I don't see that options. Uh, you check in your own own org. Like when you are go to this create employer and come to this conditional view here, you will see some more. I can see so element if only true, but there are two more value. One is disable read only if element true. One is uh, disable required uh, if true. Some that kind of. Two more options will be there. So that with that read options, you can do this. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, read or any. Okay, this is show element. Huh? Okay, I can do. I can do because what I can do. See, to what requirement I did. My requirement was this button should be disabled. This should be visible from the very mm. beginning, but this should be in form of disable. And mm. as soon as you get this, then this button should get enabled. That's what my requirement. So enabling and disabling button is not a direct functionality here. So what I had done, I had created one fake button. Fake mm. button in a sense, one more set value I created, but that set value didn't had anything. And mm. I applied a CSS onto this button where mm. uh, not even that, not even CSS. I remember what I did. Later I changed that button with a flex card. In flex card, you have a direct disabling and enabling and you can put direct CSS. So mm. I built up here one flex card and mm. that flex card will also become like a button. So that button was disabled. So what it was happening, I it was for user. It was looking like it's a, a disabled button, but actually there were two buttons and that button was just fake. As soon as you want this button, that fake one used to get hidden, which is disabled and this one will come into the picture. Because even if they hit on the disable button, nothing should happen, right? Yeah, that was just a fake button with with uh, like brown, sorry, gray kind of. Uh, so that was requirement, OK? But you mm. when you use a flex card, that's your performance gets reduced. That's another challenge. So initially I had done that because I didn't want it to customize anything. But later I realized mm. that anyway, I have to use custom CSS on this Omni script. So I use set value only. So mm -hmm. I use set value and two set value. One set value uh, where I change the uh, this background from blue to gray. Mm. And with the help of this conditional view, what I did, I control that. When yeah. you are searching, that time that uh, gray one will be visible. Once you don't get any value, then the gray one will get hidden and this one will come into the picture. This one will come. And Got all it. the he was here. So that's how there are many things that you can as per your requirement. Now, one more thing you have to do. If you remember that once I you remember that as soon as I clicked for the second time, create employer, the prior value were coming up here. If you remember. Hmm. Right in the, the previous value were coming up here. So the way I have done here, create for create employer for the name, what I did, I did the mapping, right? Mm -hmm. Now for the phone, email, city, all these things, what you do, you make a null value. You pass a null value to it. So what no. null will do when someone clicks here, it will clear yeah. all the value and name value will be passed from here to here and these things will be cleared. So now whenever you click next time, uh, this create employer, every time it will come. It will uh, M yeah. This will call, come null. Now null, there yeah. can be another question. Now what I'll tell you, mm -hmm. there can be another questions. Uh, because these are the things that I have faced. OK, there would be another challenge. Now let's say mm. that I was let's say there is a scenario. I started typing. OK, mm. Mm. and I uh, didn't find. So I clicked on create employer. These records come. Let's say ABC. I created a record and all these things I did. OK, mm. Mm. after entering all these informations ABC, what mm. I did, but no, 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 I don't want this ABC. So I clicked mm. on close. So it got closed. OK. But can you please tell me again? So if you if you want. OK, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the scenario what I'm trying to say. Let's say what you have done you know, on create employer every time yeah. that null is happening. OK, I started typing okay. ABC and I couldn't find. So I clicked on create employer. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. when you click on create employer, this name will get match and phone, email, city, everything it will get null, right? Null, because yeah. Initialize as null. Now I entered the phone numbers. I entered my email ID. Mm. City also I added something like this. Yeah, something and country. Yeah. Now yeah. I realized that no, 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 no. Something I'm messing up or what? So what I did, I clicked on closed. Close. Okay. Yeah. 
okay now so all uh, values will be disappear uh, after that again i realize no it was it's correct only so now again i'll click on create employer now when you mm -hmm. create in click on this create employer even though i had clicked or entered all this information these will get clear off because you are initializing as null on click of this create employer mm -hmm. but i don't want this time this time I will need as a user experience what I want that since I did not create an account, I want that this should be here. Correct. Okay. I want yeah. to clear all these things only if the record has been created. Correct. Hmm. Now based on ID, you can handle this also. But again, this would be a bit of challenge, but I have handled all these informations. And you know, these are the things that I tested myself and I have delivered. No QA interventions was there. Even if I would have given to QA, they will they don't test this much. But mm -hmm. being a developer, I know where all what all things would be required. Okay. So okay. anyway, you don't have to go to this level. That's fine because it's beginning right now. So do not focus in because we have a lot many things to learn. Once we have the basic concepts of all the things, then we will work on this enhancing to this much level, right? You're trying yeah. to, I mean, you got my point what I'm trying to tell here, right? When mm. my account is getting created that I that time after that second time when I clear, when I click on creating plot, that time it should be clean because my account has already been created. Now I may, I may be clearing, now I may be creating a new account. But in case if I have not clicked on save, I have not created an account and I have cleased, click on close. Again, I want to go back. In that case, these informations should be there, should retain. Right? So what you can do, what you can do, the simple example is that when you are returning, when like when you are clicking on save, we are closing it. Before hmm. closing, we will close the node from there. We will not clear the node from create employer. Got my point? Got it, yeah. yeah. You, uh, so first also, time, first time when uh, first time it should be disappear. Second time it should be there. Correct. First time, no, no. Uh, this information uh, you are talking. So this yes. information should disappear when you have a successful record creations. Okay. Okay. And like once you have the successful record, it means that next time when they will come, they will not need this information. So you can clear. So oh. what I'm trying to show that we said that the solution of it is to initialize this value with null, correct? Hmm. So don't do that initializations of these values to null from create employer. Do it from this one, from that IP. That will help you. That will do your make your job simple, make your life easy here. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Right? Not from here because if you do from here, every time it will do it whether hmm. a new account is there already have been created or not. Hmm. So that's the reason do not do it from here. The simple solutions I remember I gave it is this mm. one. Yeah, so these are the tricks or these are the things that will come slowly uh, like enhancing all these things. But then first focus to uh, like few. But yes, when you have a habit or uh, doing such things from the beginning, later it would be easy for you. OK, later you don't have to make so many changes, right? Uh, when the client have time, they take like, see if you drag, like you will, you will have some planning in the projects we have. Now in the planning, what it happens if you stretch the project to the end, the client will also not have time to test. I mean, things will get a bit complex. So that's the reason from the beginning, if you are doing those things, this will help you even if the client is giving you some additional requirement or anything, which mm -hmm. always happened in my life. In most of my project, whenever I'm delivering what it happens, when I'm solutioning it, when I'm asking the requirements from the client, that time they will say, yeah, do this, do that. OK, now based on some assumptions, I solutions it and I get it delivered. Now, mm -hmm. once they they start running their hands on the product, right? Let's say that after we have six sprint uh, Let's say six sprint overall we have planned. After mm -hmm. four or five sprint, they will see some actual end-to-end uh, -end functionality. Not exactly, but to some extent. Now, when they start execute, start using that applications, then they will come up with all the questions that oh yeah, look, can we make changes here also? Can we make it would be like they are completely changing the product. Because now when they get into the hands, they get the product in their hands, they start using it, then they realize, oh, this could have been done this way. This could have been done this way. Because Correct. most of the time I'm facing this. 
and now uh, when you tell them that no no uh, since we are just two sprint away we will not be able to we will be moving away for time rate no worries we will extend some one week or they will say like that we will extend one week no worries uh, i forget about one week that will not take one week you for you it may be looking like one week that okay configurations is there but what if i make some changes to do your requirement if something else breaks then will who will be that time you will blame me right or not yes yes yeah so the challenges that will always be there but we cannot do anything because they are paying us right so yeah what what is the best i think i don't get involved okay we will accept it we'll try to do whatever the best can happen and i'll let them know this is not possible this may affect this existing and if it gets break at the last time we would need this i set the expectations in before before to them and then what i do and when i am developing that time only i i generally take a scope that okay if something comes i should be able to manage so that's the main point what i i always try to uh, to all my trainee like whoever i am teaching i always suggest them that have some scope scope of enhancing all your everything whatever you are building because definitely tomorrow something or the other client will come do not enhance so much that your real performance is getting impacted okay so even you have to keep in that also in mind Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so I think I'm good. Uh, let me. Uh, if you have any questions, let's connect tomorrow. But yeah. to some extent, practice an IP because IP is very important. And yeah. from tomorrow, I will get into IP and I'll give you the all the other concepts of IP because there are a lot many things to do. You are only aware about set value right now, right? Response actions. I will mm-hmm. give you. So I'll not give you the complete whole thing of remote actions, but yeah. configurations part i'll give you and mm-hmm. i'll also give you some sample codes i will give you that how do we call a apex class from this omnis uh, from this ip okay mm-hmm. list actions i will give, explain you intelligence actions we will not be doing because we need the uh, mm-hmm. we need this uh, what do you call einstein analytics for this but mm-hmm. yes i'll drag and drop and i'll show you the configurations what all things are there you have docu sign as well again docu sign uh, you need the if in your org if you have the license of docu sign you can use here you mm-hmm. don't have anything much here or i mean you need all the concepts of docu sign but to call that docu sign you don't need any any anything here like i will tell you what is the configurations right now tomorrow if you have in your org if you have the license of docu sign you can definitely configure it because configuration is very simple for all these things these things you already aware right the way okay. we did for drl load same thing you do it for these also okay uh, got it yeah 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 chatter action so is many things thing. are there actually so many actions i exactly. should know so many things are, are there but i'll tell you this is these things are not that tough the way we are thinking it it will just take a month or a couple of month when you start running your hands not more yeah. than everything okay. will be in your mind Okay, yeah. and then you have these groups. Out of these groups, cache block and this try cache block is is nothing. You can ignore it also. I'll explain you. I'm not saying like I will not dis- explain, but these things can be explained just in ten fifteen minutes. But these two are important. Loop block is very important. Conditional block is also important. Conditional block is simple. Loop block is a bit tough. And this list block, this is most tough because lot many things it can do. So this mm. will take one class at say at itself. So I will take up an example and I'll cover this list actions and I, I mean I'll cover each and everything. You don't have to worry from the like uh, concept wise. You just have to worry about uh, your practicing. Nothing else. Like oh. how the way how the topics would be uh, taken. What would be the sequence? Those everything uh, I would be able to handle. Till now you are comfortable, right? It's not like I am uh, just running. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, IP. I did not practice actually. IP. Yesterday's class and today's class, I did not practice. I will practice as tomorrow. Yeah, ah, I, I do understand these things. When we are working, I do understand these things. Correct. It will take time. That's the reason I always say have recordings. And Correct. it's not like 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 let's say after twenty days you are going through recording, you are facing some issues. You don't have to worry about that. I will still be there. It's not like class is over now. No more. No, yeah, no, I did. Uh, yeah, I may get lot of doubts with this because yeah. like the exactly. this IP exactly. is little bit complicated uh, yeah. to give conditions and put filters and formulas and uh, to add merge fields uh, for like I a agree. I step agree. advisor. Yeah, step advisor, employer, and uh, uh, these fields. Yeah, so definitely. Yeah, correct. I agree. Yeah. I agree. That that would be and that would be a very small problem, and that would mm-hmm. become a blocker. Just I, yeah. I, if I'm able to help you that. you can further walk miles after that 
but it's correct, just correct. one thing will come those things happen now uh, i'm that's the reason i always tell it's do not think that okay you have to cover everything today and you still have a time go through the recording if still you don't find any any solutions try to look on googles if still nothing works i'm always there it's not like i will not be there if i can help i'll help you instantly if i don't know anything and i'm not claiming i know everything and i may true. not know if you ask i'll take some time and i'll come back to you i'll help you whatever i can do ठीक है सो लेट्स कनेक्ट टुमारो स्वाति ओके या या परफेक्ट ठीक है थैंक यू